What's going on, smart people? Yesterday, I went over a tentative schedule for the rest of these 10 days, well, nine days now, of studying for the qualifying exam. Yesterday, all thermodynamics. The day before that, all thermodynamics. I made yesterday's video around 10 a.m., and then 11 a.m., I really got started on studying. It didn't stop until around 9 p.m., and then I took a break and studied GR for a couple hours. Studying is a weird process for me. If it was any other activity that I would do for that extended period of time, I would get burnt out. But for some reason, studying is different. I've got When I got my coffee, my notes, 30 tabs open, and I'm in the zone, I'm just good to go. I think it might just be because I kind of treat studying as if I'm doing research, and I really, really like research. Today, I still have a little bit of thermo left. I feel so much better about classical thermodynamics than I really ever have before, which is good. In fact, as far as those four subjects that I gave last time, thermo is now towards the top of what I feel most prepared to be tested on, but that's for classical thermo. Once we get into the statistical mechanics, I'm still a little bit iffy and I'd like to do some revision with that and also some problem solving. What was kind of cool about yesterday is I also spent the majority of it still doing revision, still going through thermodynamics and trying to understand the material. And it's always kind of a scary transition when you go from studying to saying, okay, am I ready to solve problems now? And I went to the practice exams and I started looking at the thermodynamics problems and I was like, wow, I, I can do this. I know how to solve these, which was, which was really cool. But today, I want to add just a little bit more thermodynamics notes into my Lake Tech document, which is actually turning out pretty nicely. And then I'm going to switch gears into statistical mechanics, go over things like microstates, macrostates, and thermodynamic properties in terms of those, like entropy. And then that'll pretty much be a wrap for thermodynamics. I'll do a little bit of practice problems for the StatMech stuff, then switch gears completely into E&M for the rest of the day. So today, tomorrow, and the next day are going to be E&M days, which should be all I need because I think I have a good idea of what types of questions you can be asked. It's a charge in a conductor, or method of images, or multipole expansion, things like that. Knowing how the different electric field is connected to the potential, how the vector potential is connected to the magnetic field. <clears throat> Shit, I could transform away a magnetic field if I wanted and make it purely an electric field, but I don't feel like getting that crazy. That would actually be pretty funny if there was a problem that was like, calculate the magnetic field, blah, 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 and you say something like, choosing a reference frame where the magnetic field is zero, then B equals zero, QED. Anyways, I'm going to go review some stat mech, which is going to be very helpful for this next semester because I'm taking a course in it, and then I will have my way with e &M. Let me know in the comments section who would win in a fight, Boltzmann or Maxwell, and why. I think Boltzmann because that crazy motherfucker would probably take them both down with him. Oh, and I'll see you guys there.